G'day, my name's Jenny and I'm back. Now, the last video I was cleaning out my fridges and freezers and it was a big job. So I got the fruit and veg put away. I managed to do that in time to go and pick up the kids from school and then I headed to the grocery store. So this is the haul that I got. This is all that I bought to fill up my freezers. I still have to get a lot of meat and do a lot of meal prepping as well. But this was just the basics from the grocery store. So let's just get into that. I'll show you what I bought, tell you what I spent, and then I have to put it all away. Now I needed to get some more eggs. We do have some eggs out in the fridge, but I did buy two dozen more. I bought four bags of stir fry veggies. Two boxes, they're 24 packs, so two packs of party pies. These are great just on a weekend for a quick lunch or a little snack. Two blocks of cheddar cheese. Two bags of chopped onions. These are great when you are prepping your freezer meals. This saves a lot of time and a lot of crying over cut up onions. So these are great. I bought two packets of peas and two packets of beans. I bought two packets of potato gems. So they're like tater tots. I bought some whipped cream. We're going to have that with some pikelets, which are also known as small pancakes, if anyone's wondering. I bought two lots of dip, French onion and avocado. Now these seasoned sides, these are just vegetables and they, they already have all the herbs and spices in them. And they are fabulous. If you're running out of time and you just want to put on some sausages or some chicken nuggets or something really quick and just throw some veggies on the side these go into the oven they are delicious and they were also on special so I bought six packets of the country garden ones and six of the farmhouse and I think I've still got three of the Mediterranean ones in the deep freeze as well now I bought two bottles of thickened cream one container of butter because I have quite a lot still in the freezer outside this is a six pack of yogurt. I buy these bigger ones, they are for dad. <laughs> and then I bought three frozen pizzas because there are days where you don't have time to plan anything and a couple of pizzas thrown into the oven is always a quick, easy meal. Milk, six three litre bottles of milk, always needing that. Now, next up, I've got some, what are these called? Crispy chicken space bites. These are basically just chicken nuggets in a fancy shape. <laughs> but they were half price, so definitely worth grabbing a couple of those. These are Cole's home brand crumbed chicken tenders. These are great, with a little bit of salad or some veg on the side as well. And here are some beer battered whiting fish bites. So these are kind of like fish nuggets. Now I bought two packets of Cheerios, also known as cocktail frankfurts. I don't know if you have other names for them, but we call them Cheerios here. I bought a bag of grated cheese and two bags of the home brand Parmesan cheese. Now, two packets of salami slices. They go in our little savory boxes for school lunches. A couple of different types of sliced ham. Now all of these packets can actually be put into the freezer as well and you just pull them out the day before and defrost them and you can use them for sandwiches. This is chicken, chicken breast meat here as well. I also like to get the ham from the deli in the supermarket but it's also good to have a few of these in the freezer in case you get stuck and you don't realize that you're out of something at home. I've got one container of sour cream one packet of chicken breast fillets. I only bought one of these because I actually have another one in the deep freeze and I'm going to make up a big meal with both lots. 
Now I bought two lots of beef sausages. Now I know overseas these look like hot dogs. These are not hot dogs, these are sausages. These are hot dogs. These are the American, these are American hot dogs. So they do look very similar. And then what we have as our hot dogs here are the Frankfurts. So I bought one of the normal thin Frankfurts, two packets of the American hot dogs, and then yes, two, two of these big containers of beef sausages. Now I have three packets of bacon. This is shortcut bacon. It has all the rinds and all the streaky fat parts cut off it. So it's just that nice meaty part of the bacon strip. Makes it very easy to cook with. And then look at this. This is an enormous pile of yogurts and custards. All of this will be packed into containers in the fridge for school lunches. Then I also have some mini beef dim sims. There's three boxes of those. And some spring rolls, which is really nice with some sweet and sour sauce and some rice. Now that's all I ended up buying today. All of these groceries cost. And now it's time to pack all of this away as well. Now that all of the cleaning of the fridge and freezer has been done and I've been to the grocery store, bought what I needed, well, almost all of what I needed, there were a few items on my list that I couldn't get there, but I will grab those next time I go grocery shopping. Now I've got all of that put away and now I can start on my meal planning and my freezer meal list. And I say start planning because I think in order to make a really good meal plan, you need to not only know what's in your fridge and freezer, but you also need to know what's in your pantry. So I keep a pantry book and it literally is nothing special. It just has shelf one, shelf two. And I just list out the products that I store on those shelves. So I will be going through my pantry 
for such a big family we have the smallest pantry ever it's just a normal little kitchen pantry so it gets pretty heavily packed at times but at the moment it's quite empty because my pantry needs some repairs so with so many people coming and going and dragging things in and out of there some of the edges have broken so we're going to re-edge the shelving in there and then some of the plastic containers that I store food in have obviously gotten very old and have cracked and so I'm going to put some new ones in there as well. So I will be doing a pantry clean out and a big grocery haul for that. But for now I know what's in my freezers so I can start to make those lists and I can also do the list for the meat order as well, what I'm going to need at the butchers. So I'm going to get to that in a moment. Now I know a lot of folks will meal plan make a list of ingredients out, go to the store and then buy all of those things. And I don't shop like that. I shop backwards to that. So I shop to stock. I will shop all the sales and I will buy all the foods that we need and I will stock my pantry and my fridge and freezer to capacity when I can afford it. And then what I do is I check what I've got at home here and I make my meal plan from there. Shopping this way has always given us the security that we always have food in the pantry, but also it helps save money. So I can buy the half price sales and any specials that are on and I can buy it up and store it. Now lots of folks ask if we ever have fussy eaters and the answer to that is we've been really lucky in that our kids will eat most things, but I think each child has you know, a few food items that they really just don't like. I have always encouraged our kids to try what's on their plate. I think it's important to cultivate a, a taste for fruit and veggies. Some, some kids just don't want to go there because they think it's healthy and it's icky and yucky and they're not going to want to eat it. But I think, you know, at least if they try it first is a good thing. And look, as an adult, I wouldn't want to be forced to eat a meal that I didn't like so I would never think of doing that to my kids so if they've tried what's on their plate and they really truly don't like that meal then I'm happy to substitute something simple in so they might just have some toast and soup they might have some noodles or maybe even a bowl of cereal because I mean I know myself sometimes I don't feel like sitting down to a big plate of meat and veg and you know a bowl of porridge would be kind of nice so I think whatever we can do for ourselves we can do for our kids as well. So the rule is here in this household try what's on your plate do your best to eat the meal that mum's cooked for you if you really really don't like it then we'll find something else for you to eat so long as what you're eating as the substitute is reasonably healthy. Now, as I said, having a list and a meal plan helps save money and it can help save you some time as well. If you go out armed with your list when you go to the butchers or to the grocery store, you won't have to stand there for so long deciding what to cook for your family. You've got it all planned out. You can just go into the shop, buy what you need to buy and get home again. So now that my freezer list is done, I can meal plan and it's a little bit scrappy because it got scrunched up and put in my handbag when it went on school run with me but I just tally up what's in there and then I can see if I have an excess of anything in there at the moment I see at the top of my list here I've got six packets of cabanossi which is like cabana and we use those when we make homemade pizzas so I know six is probably a lot just to have stored in there of that particular product. So when I go to make my menu plan this week, I will be putting homemade pizzas on there and the kids can, can do that. And that's just simply um, some wraps, sauce, some toppings, mushroom, tomato, pineapple, ham, the cabanossi, maybe a bit of onion and some cheese on top and then melt that in the oven. And the kids love making that. And it helps keep your stock in your freezer turning over. We don't want anything to go out of date. We don't want to waste anything. And I know that sounds like I'm saying this on a loop all the time about making a list, but it really will keep you much more organized. It will, it will simplify your life and it will definitely save you money. Okay, well, I'm going to get moving and get all of these uh, lists done so that I know what I need to go buy at the butcher's make a bit of a plan. Again, the freezers are quite a bit empty. And again, this is about rotating stock through, using up what you have. 
and then I'll, I'll check in with the kids and say look is there any particular meals that you would like me to cook because everyone's got a favorite and I mean they have been asking for a little while for certain meals so I'm going to make sure I add those to my list but just try and get a nice balance of all different types of meals if you don't eat meat that's fine you can also have a really nice comprehensive vegetarian list of meals that you could actually pre-make and have in the freezer ready to go for those who do eat meat try and swap between red meats and white meats i try and write out my plan so that you know we're not having chicken every night of the week so we might do one night where we're having fish one a vegetarian meal we might do a couple of chicken dishes um, a couple of beef ones and then we might have a night where it might be as simple as just having a toasted sandwich or something really easy and look they might just be the nights where you're so busy with your kids that you don't have time for anything else and there is absolutely nothing wrong with having some two minute noodles or a can of soup that's perfectly fine nobody's going hungry so just eat what your family enjoys get yourself organized try and get some freezer meals into that freezer so that you can save yourself some time and some stress ah, and we all need a little less stress don't we <laughs> all right well I'm going to get to making mine now um, how about you grab pen and paper and go and have a look in your fridge and freezer see if you can make out a bit of a meal plan and if you're lost for some inspiration I will add some videos in the description box and you can check out some of our recipes and I will have more videos coming up where I'll be cooking very very soon so thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day god bless <laughs>